I'd like to get in this discussion here about this uh, no cut method and I figured I'd uh, explain it a little bit so everybody would understand exactly how this is working um, first I'm going to explain how the uh, NAND chip gets enabled and disabled then I'm going to explain about the transistor then we'll go into the rest of it so first of all let's start with a CE of the chip the CE of the chip is right here and how this works is when the voltage being sent to the CE gets above a certain voltage it disables the chip and when voltage drops below a certain voltage and it's all in the specifications of the chip it enables the chip so now that we know that we can move on all right now we're going to talk about a transistor and this particular transistor here is a PNP resistor which means it has a positive pole sorry a positive pole a positive pole and a negative pole so when positive voltage or no voltage is applied I'm gonna repeat that when positive voltage or no voltage is applied to the end pole nothing can flow from here and it stops as soon as we apply negative voltage to the end pole positive voltage is allowed to flow from this pole to this pole when you take away the negative voltage the positive voltage cannot flow anymore so now that we understand that we can move on all right, let's move on to the put it all together and see how this all works. We're going to call NAND1 the RGH NAND. And we're going to call NAND2 the retail NAND. I'll just leave R for retail. All right, and we're going to start off by sending from the ACE chip, we're going to send a negative voltage down here and what's going to happen is the negative voltage is going to come down here and it's going to override the 3.3 volts that was being sent through this resistor disabling this chip but now we're sending negative down here it's going to what it's going to do is it's going to enable the RGH chip also the negative is going to come on down here and go through this 1k resistor and it's going to activate the transistor allowing positive voltage to flow through here which is going to disable the retail NAND. So let's back up now. So now let's switch from sending negative from the ACE chip we're going to send positive down here we're going to send a positive down here and right to here so what's going to happen now is the positive coming down going to the CE on the RGH NAND is going to disable the RGH NAND. Also the positive coming down through here being there's no negative coming to our um, transistor which means now that our positive 
is going to stop right here and not go any further, which is going to enable the uh, retail NAND because the south bridge is sending a negative signal enabling the chip. Um, so let's back up again and just switch stands again. Actually, I think I think everybody should get that, but I'll go through one more time. And a, I'll, I'll do some flashes here for you and let you see what it is. But basically, that's how that works. Hope people understand this a little better. And then I'll, I'll flash it back and forth so you can understand what's going on here in a second. Alright, so what we got going on here is um, I wrote one of his uh, 15432's uh, dual NAND timing files to this ACE chip. And the way he had designed it, he had designed it for a uh, cutting the trace method. So he had two wires coming off, actually three wires, he, or, I'm sorry, four, but I'm just talking about the NAND switching wires. He used a two wire NAND switching method for the cut method. Um, and when you go to the no-cut method, you don't need both the wires. You just need one. Um, so basically, my yellow wire here is running down t underneath to my sync button. And my blue wire here is running to my dual NAND chip. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. So what I did is I took one of my dual NAND chip designs. And I basically gutted all the components off from this side of the chip. So I'm basically only using this much of the chip now. Um, it used to have another IC over here that held the program for switching the NANDs and some other components in there and another transistor but now that he released these files we don't need none of this so this is basically a setup same as I showed you in the previous or the first part of this video um, so we only got one wire coming to the chip instead of two wires um, this is a QSB board by the way um, it eliminates like if you see in the squirt you got wires going everywhere um, this is the Trinity one. I've already designed a Corona V5 uh, quick solder board and I'm working on a V1 and V3 quick solder board too. And uh, the boards will only be like this big because I, I didn't need other components no more. So they're just quick solder boards. And I'll, with the one wire system, I'll show you it works. Um, we'll go over and I'll hit the button and we get two blanks. And we hit the button and we get one blank. Um, to show you that it's switching NANDs, I'll even uh, fire this up and if you listen. And I got the, the fan turned up on the RGH NAND, so and this is uh, the RGH one. I'm having trouble getting it boot. It boots every so often. I'm trying to get 15432 to make some more timing files, more variety of timing files. But now we'll go ahead and we'll boot the other NAND. I don't know if you can hear it, you can't hear the fan now because this is the retail NAND. And it just booted. So it does switch the NANDs. I've already had it boot in the RGH NAND. Um, I just figured I'd show this. Uh, maybe we, um, we could go further more go farther with this uh, in the community. Uh, now that he released these files and now we're I'm going to start selling these boards, I think, I guess, for people or whatever, but just eliminates it makes it a little cleaner. You don't have to have all these wires running around like you do the squirt because it's a quick solder board. The uh, V5 uh, one I made actually solders on the top, so it, it'll sit right next to your uh, ACE chip. But that's what we got going on so far with the one wire system. Now, I want to make note of this too. With this, with 15432's file he released, he used the two wires. We talked about that, um, but we're only going to use one. So let's say that you wanted the RGH NAND to be the very first NAND that comes on when you first plug the console in, give it power. Well, you use one of his wires. And let's say you wanted the retail NAND to be the very first NAND that comes on when you first plug it in. Well, you just use the other wire then. 
You, you see what I'm saying? Because one wire sent on a pause, one wire sent on a negative, and they alternate. So you just pick which one, what NAND you want to be the very first NAND that comes out when you first give it power and use that one wire, and you can do it that way too. Um, but hopefully this helps people out, and we can move on from here.